Right. Midnight Charms, uh, Pyromancer, Sarah's Boon. <laughs> I mean, just all, all stuff that comes around, you know, kind of deep into the pack. Absolutely agree. Well, it looks like Atron is ready to go on the offense. Spectral Force heads for the red zone. Take six. Kenji puts the fireball copy in front of it, as expected. The two cards trade, but Kenji does take six trample damage. And now, I think from, from Atron's point of view, he cleared a 4-2 blocker. Right. And he, I mean, remember, he's got a, he's got a Deadwood Tree Folk in his in his deck. I mean, we we get oh, a, true. We can get an encore performance from that, uh, from that spectral spectral force. We could. Send uh. three five. Kenji down to eleven. But passes the turn. Little. Here comes a suspended Juka Shaman and a couple cards. It's sort of an interesting card there from uh, Mike. He's also got a Pit Keeper, huh. which... Uh, How many creatures in his graveyard? Uh, he's got at least two. I think it's exactly two. Yeah. He can uh, he can get another guy back there pretty easy with his Dormant Sliver. That's in play. He's already got one there. But, sure. I mean, he's not ready to give up any position on the board right now. Micron leads this match two games to one. Kenji Samura would really like to... Oh, there's Grape Shot. He's going to kill three guys, uh, do three damage here. Yep. So he had the Shaman come into play, played the yep. Dusk Wasp. Grape Shot again, Grape a card, shot makes three. A card that, that Mike was really scared of coming into this match. Grape Shot. Yep. But now he has... Uh, now Spectral Force comes back. Yeah, oh, Kenji keeper. had no idea that he was walking into Pit Keeper. Yeah. Mike held back Pit Keeper, waiting, knowing eventually if Kenji was going to make any progress, it was probably going to be by killing some stuff. It's going to be Pit Keeper Spectral Force this turn. And note that uh, Atron hasn't lost track of his ability to attack either. Yeah, Kenji's going to risk the Dusk Wasp in combat. He's going to lose it. Mike content to trade to Scarwood Tree Folk for Dusk Kenji that feels like pretty good about trade. the board here, but... <laughs> yeah, he felt pretty good about the board. And then Pit Keeper Spectral Force happened. Wow. Now what do you do, Kenji Samura? He's killed Spectral Force once this game. He beat it in game one. He doesn't have quite enough on the board to kill it this turn. He can do seven. And, and keep it tapped down for a turn. Kenji looking over. Remember, it doesn't untap. Right. But, uh, I mean, if, if Mike has a Trump of the Domains, then this game is just... <laughs> right, that's 11... And five from the pit keeper. That's 16 with two, three, four, seven. It's not quite enough. Kenji surveys the board trying to figure out. Just sitting in the spectral force here. I mean, he's not showing enough to be able to kill it. Right. He's showing seven. Right. Mike knows, though, that there's both throw, throw the, the haunt, haunt and strength numbers in Kenji's right. deck. Gotta respect both of those. So what would you do here? Would you just sit behind your trump? Does he have Trump in his hand? No, I don't know, but I mean, it's going to come, right? Uh, he does indeed have Trump the Domains uh, in his he hand. He also has a Yavamaya Dryad. I think I just played Dryad here. What is Kenji's board is Shaman, Elder, Herdmar. Elder gets the 2-3 on defense. Yes. I 
think you play Dryad Go. All right, that's five points unblockable. No, he's going to just tromp here. <clears throat> it's not lethal. Interesting. All right, tromp the domains right. for Mike Ron. That's Everybody 16. gets plus three, plus three, and trample. That's uh, a five and an 11. That's 16. Kenji's on 11, and he's yeah, got that's... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of toughness he's gonna available. Go, he's so... going to go to two and lose everybody, so it's effectively... But but the Spectral Force won't untap next turn, but he's got the, he knows he has the Dryad to get through. And he knows he's got... I mean, the Pit Keeper does untap. Right. Yeah, Kenji... This is not lethal, and Mike knows it, and Kenji's doing the math. He'll figure it out pretty quickly. Not lethal, but perhaps deadly. It's only, Right, and he has to throw everyone in front of the Spectral Force. Right? Or I guess it just doesn't matter which way he does it. Well, he can't possibly kill the Spectral Force, right? Right. So he should kill the Pit Keeper. Right. Absolutely. Okay. You're correct. Pit Keeper's on four toughness. So... Five toughness. Yeah, it's a... Uh, no, four toughness. Four right. toughness. It's five power. It's a five-four. So he puts... Nantuko Shaman and Herdnar and... And uh, the Pendlehaven Elder in front of it activates the Elder, puts the Herdnar in front of Actually, something like that. Actually, he can go to of... can he go to one that way? He can go to one and not put anything in front of the. So he can he can block with Pendlehaven Elder and and Tuko Shaman on the Pit Keeper. Right. Oh no, he goes, he takes, right, he has to, nope, it's an, I'm forgetting the extra point, he'll go to one, he'll go to zero, he has to block, he has to put the blocker in front of the... Uh, yeah, Spectral of Force into 11 well. power, and he's on 11, yep. so... Spectral Force is going to eat somebody. The mountain again for a second. Pit Keeper's got five power, there's no two creatures that can gang up and survive, so... It sure looks like Kenji's going to lose everything. Yep. And which go to was, two. Which was the, the point of this play for, for, yep. for Mike. Mike lined it up, he could have played the Dryad... That play looks tempting, but this one seems better. You know, Ken Kenji said earlier that he thought he made a mistake not attacking in game one of the quarterfinals. We were, we were wondering what was going on, and right. Mike, Rump, Mike, Mike did not make that mistake here. <laughs> he attacked in. He, True. I mean, he, I guess he's a little worried about... He's not even worried about Thrill of the Hunt here. <clears throat> All right, Mike waited patiently. Kenji lined up his blockers. Takes eight here. Takes takes nine here. Sure looks like he's going to take nine and kill everything. Mike trying to contemplate whether he wants to play around any potential thrill of the hunt or strength of numbers shenanigans. Oh, sure. Design a little extra damage to everything, but that seems... Well, with the pit keeper, he can either make sure to kill something, or I think you just go three two, and just try to kill he everything. He just plays it straight up. Yep, and there is strength of numbers, so Herdnar is going to survive. Pit keeper goes down, but Kenji Sumura is at just two life. He's facing off against the spectral force. He's got. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Herdnar gets in there. Not sure if there's anything he can draw. No, because in way. addition to Spectral Force, My here comes Yavamaya Dryad. Stone Brow. And Stone oh. Brow. Kenji Sumura has lost. Congratulations, Mike Tron. Atron is through to the finals. It'll be, it will not be a 1 2 3 for Japan. There's an American perfect. playing to win a Pro Tour. That hasn't happened since what? Philadelphia? Hasn't happened since Philadelphia. First time in a limited Pro Tour individuals since, what is that, 2000, 2001? It was still on the boat. It was still the on Queen the Queen Mary was the last time an American won a Wild, Pro Tour. Wild Mang Mongrel was coming out of draft packs the last time an American won a limited Pro Tour. And it'll be an old school guy if it happens. Mike Atron representing Fighting Out of Madison, Wisconsin. Through to the finals, his deck is Bombtacular. He's just taken out. The best player in the world? Absolutely. Whew. Mike Ron. 3-1 victory. He'll be taking on Takuga Usawa. Usawa looking to be the first Japanese player to win a Pro Tour in...